this is ASMR Arif Studio welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I will show you how to make the ordinary photo to the like amazing so how to do that uh, just I'm uh, making you just like demo that like that the before one was like that and after one will be like that so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so uh, I'll do the photo like a uh, skin retouch and uh, the color correction and effect applying and then the final effect applying so let's start the tutorial at first press ctrl j for the new copy of this letter and then go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer and from here I'll refine the skin like this so little bit refine and just make it minus and if you need you can just zoom it in so yeah like that so that's good and here the plus button you can use that so the shadow will be like that and I'll increase the highlight a little bit yeah the highlight will be like that so the hue as it is and fine as it is and brightness a little bit up and contrast make like that yeah brightness that's good brightness and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up if you want to know about the skin finer mode then please check out my video description there is a link of the detailed video about the skin finer so after that press ctrl j and ctrl j to copy of this layer i'll apply here the shadow and highlighting so at first i'm giving the name the shadow for s and h for highlighting turn off the shadow option select the h options change the blending mode into screen right press blending options here in a downside of the blending options you will get the underlining layers so just find out the highlighted area of the face yeah i think this one is the highlighted area of the face and press the alter button and divide this one and adjust the slider yeah that's fine and hit ok mask it and then go to the image and apply image and hit ok and after that select this shadow layer and make the blending mode into multiply right press this layer just like this and here is another slider just move this one and find out the shadow area yeah that's fine so this one is fine and press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the face like that the shadow of the face and hit ok mask this one image apply image in this case make it invert and hit ok select this tool and make it group make it mask and image apply image uncheck the invert option and hit ok the difference between the previous one and after one so select this two layer and make it group and make it merge like that so after that i'll go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i'll make a, like a camera preset i made it so i'll just load it up so go to the preset option and load settings option and is it for amazing and hit ok yeah you'll get the effect like that so if you need you can change the color like this and the glow will be like that and here from the basic panels i'll add some shadow yeah that's fine and highlight i'll change the highlight like that and hit ok so yeah the before one and after one after that take a new blank layer and go to the color palette and choose the color from here yeah this one and change it to like this and hit ok and go to the brush tool and brush size will be 800 and pixel and the hardness zero percent and click once and make it bigger like this hit the tick button and go to the blending options and make it screen and then select again in a layer palette color palette and 
select the color pick the color from here and make it like this and hit ok and click once and if you need you have to take new blank layer just then click once and press ctrl t and make it bigger like this and hit the tick button and change the blending mode into screen mode yeah that's fine and then select these three things make it group and make it merge after that then go to the adjustment layer and the levels at the level like yeah that's good and then select these two things make it merge like that and filter now the nick collection color effects pro 4 the color effects pro 4 you know that this one is another plugins and if you need to download these plugins please check out my video description and the preset as well what i applied in my photographs so from here the cross processing options and here the lots of methods you can choose one of them so you can select which one you do like i'll select this one and strength here is the strength option i'll make it that 30 percent and if you need you can make it up or down it's up to you so shadow i just made zero highlight zero percent and rest of the thing will be same and hit the ok it will take time to load it up and give you the output so just yeah we got our output so let's see what was the before one the before one ordinary image and after one the amazing image and after that go to the adjustment layer and gradient options and select the gradient which one is last so make it bigger yeah then go to the go to the style there is a radial and make it zero percent zero degree actually and the scale 350 make it reverse and just bring it to here and dither as well and hit the ok button so now let's see the before one the ordinary image and the after one so go to the adjustment layer again and now i'll just add some exposure like that so exposure will be the offset will be like this the yeah the grammar correction yeah and the exposure you yeah, know that's fine the setting will be 0 0.06 and the offset will be 0 0.0042 and the grammar will be 0 0.98 and after that just drag this this one the exposure just below of the gradient yeah that will make your photographs more amazing so after that just i'll go to the adjustment layer and color lookup table and go to the color lookup and the futuristic color so and now I'll make the opposite or 11% that's good and drag it to the layer of the gradient the below and then yeah let's see the before one and after one so select all the things make it group and make it match and now I'll increase the sharpness so make copy by pressing ctrl j adjustment layer actually the blending mode and from here the vivid light and then go to the filter others and high pass from here i'll just give the high pass 0.5 yeah that's good yeah it will make your photo more sharper than the before okay select these two things make it group and make it match so let's see the before one and after one so what we have done at first we got the background and then here just I'm turning off all the things so yeah here actually we just got the skin final for the smoothie skin and after that we applied the dodge and burn options and after that just got the some uh, like uh, effects and other stuff this one the camera plugins um, from the camera plugins we just applied the camera filter presets and after that applied another light over there and another light from the top and then we got this one and 
just turning off all the things yeah after that and we got the neat collection effects from this and after that the adjustment of the color that is the levels and the this one color lookup and then the gradient and after that we just make it more sharper than the before and this one is our final output so before one and after one so we are getting the amazing photo from the ordinary photo this one is the technique of making these steps so i think you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friends and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section if you want to download the presets and the other plugins and the other tutorials if you want to get please check out my video description all the things i'll give in my video description so until the next video i may see signing out today and bye bye